Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading, so please remember to take what resonates in, don't manifest the rest. Alright, alright. So let's see what's going on here. We have the Fool, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So, somebody's trying to stop someone's forward movement. It's a group. Got Virgo, Sagittarius. Yeah. So somebody's trying to take somebody's Ten of Pentacles here through a betrayal. And they're trying to hurry up and do it because the Queen of Swords is on to them. Aries energy. Let's see what the challenge is here. What is the challenge? The Six of Cups. So it is someone from the past. It's a masculine. Possibly an Aries or a Pisces. Somebody who hides themselves in the shadows because... I don't know. I'm feeling fear here. They're afraid of being discovered. So they feel like if they hide in the shadows long enough, nobody will know they're there. High Priestess knows you're there. <laughs> Most recent past, the Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands and the Empress. Somebody's being stalked, heavily stalked here. Their healing's being watched. Immediate future. Wow. So it looks like somebody might be doing the right thing. Imagine that. We have an emperor, we have the star, and we have the wheel of fortune. And the Two of Cups. So this is somebody's destiny. To be their own boss. To have wish fulfillment. A wish being granted, basically. Possibly a relationship. A destined relationship. Factors affecting the situation. Too many chefs in the kitchen. Three of Cups. Or somebody's just doing a little too much. So we have Sagittarius and Pisces again. Aquarius and Aries. There's at least three people involved here. In whatever this is. Somebody's from your past or past life. So they're trying to keep you from having love in your life. Yeah. So like I said, five of pentacles, ten of cups, ace of cups, and the three of swords. They're trying to do this behind the scenes, but you're still balanced. Hermiting. Doing what's fair for you. There's a, there, there's a magician behind the curtain here that you're not seeing. I'm definitely getting Wizard of Oz vibes here. Outside influence. It's very unfortunate. Someone is definitely trying to make you let go. They're trying to destroy everything that you've created. But what's happening instead is there's a transformation going on. A death and a rebirth. Hopes and fears. The King of Wands and the King of Swords. Someone's got your back, whether you know it or not.
Or these are the thieves. These are the people who are trying to steal something from you. We will find out next pass. Sagittarius, this could be somebody who, who um, you left out in the cold because, you know, they were less than savvy. They didn't show you, or I should say they showed you who they were and you believed them. Eight of Pentacles as the final outcome. So, Three of Pentacles and the, and the King of Pentacles. So this could be the person that these other two are trying to stop. Because, like I said, there's some kind of destiny happening here. And you have all these people trying to step in the way. They don't want these two people coming together. I'm hearing two will make one. This could be in business because of the Eight of Pentacles as the final outcome. Somebody finds an empress very attractive, sees her as the Queen of Cups, healing, and they are definitely stalking with the Page of Swords, Four of Swords, Empress, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they are watching. Watching what? I don't know. For everybody, it's going to be different. What is this fool card? Somebody's taking a leap of faith here. Despite the Ten of Swords. What is this fool card about? I feel like there's some kind of an investigation going on here. Yeah. So we have a priest or a high priestess in reverse. Somebody who practices lower vibrational m magic. Um, it's definitely some kind of voodoo type energy. With the, with the Hierophant here and the high priestess in reverse yeah this is somebody who does magic but they do it through a very insidious and nefarious type way where they're you know they're dark they think they're they think they're spiritual but in actuality they're a manipulator yeah it's somebody from your past that you don't want anything to do with This is somebody who who very foolishly tried to hurry up and shut something down, but it didn't succeed. Eight of Swords in reverse. Like I said, past, past life. That's justice, baby. God saw everything. What is the Six of Cups, Spirit? What is the Six of Cups? Yeah, they were about a better swing, knocked down. Leo energy. Somebody wanted to make you fight. Somebody wanted you to um, fight them. And be foolish. That was their magic trick. Was to try to get you to be combative. And basically try to strong arm you into a fight. Virgo, Gemini, and Aries energy again. I keep getting Virgo and Aries in my readings lately. So, this person wished something on you. Wow, they wanted to take your destiny. You can't. I mean, God sees everything and you can't take another person's destiny. You might be able to jack their email. You might be able to, you know, rob them. But you can't rob them of who they are. Because whoever you are, you took a leap of faith towards that direction. Despite anybody else's manipulation. 
What is the immediate future here with the Emperor and the Star Spirit? What is that about? Okay. So somebody didn't stop anything here. Tower in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Upright. Two of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. Someone has released a burden here and avoided a tower. Expect a message from this person. Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio. You will get a message from this person or these people because I feel like there's a group here. A very fiery message. So there could be someone coming in that wants to collaborate and work with you. It's like if you can't beat them, join them kind of energy. Yeah. So the factors affecting the situation is this brand new beginning in finances. It's always about money with these people. I don't understand. Somebody's pocket watching you. They're just they're, they're seeing how much money you have. Like it's any of their business. Um, and if somebody's about to be fair to you, they're definitely watching and stalking. This is the Page of Swords, and it's upright. They want to see what you got going on here. Nine of Cups in reverse. Jealous much? Jealous much? Yeah, this is that Queen of Wands that we started out with. So this person... Outside influence may have sent you a message trying to make you feel envious of them. Trying to make you feel like you weren't good enough and, and, and make you feel like basically a POS piece of shit. They did it on purpose because they, they, they think that they're going to be able to affect your self-worth. Look, Seven of Cups in reverse. You are not confused. You... you, you they're trying to not leave you any options here but to fight because they're, they're really smearing your name, telling a bunch of lies. They might even lie to your face because they're just that they're just very deceptive people. They're, these people choose money over everything else. Over accountability is what I'm hearing. They don't want to take accountability for what they've done. You, you're avoiding some kind of tower because of the lies. Because they, they know it's a lie. They know it's a lie. But the, it doesn't, it's, it's not going to stop them. Because they're choosing to try to take something from you, which is the Ten of Pentacles. It's unfortunate. They don't want you to see the sleight of hand going on here. I got two, two, two right in my hand. So there's at least three people here that want to keep you in fight or flight mode and confused and making the wrong choices when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles. This whatever this is coming in it's it feels like a partnership it's definitely some kind of healing that's going to allow you to boss up be the star in your own world which is a wish granted wish granted despite all these efforts look at this so they wanted to make you jealous they 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 went out of their way to be nasty here Somebody from your past or somebody you might have spent a childhood with. They went out of their way to be nasty here. To try to block you from your blessings. Try to make you jealous. To end something for you. Your choices, your options. Because of jealousy, hatred, and competition. Liars. They're a bunch of liars. 
At least five people. Maybe they're trying to stalk you on social media. Maybe you're ten steps ahead of them. And you keep blocking them. I do feel like you know what this is. Scorpio energy. Uh, and you've decided that, you know, I, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to play with you. Type energy. I'm not even going to play with you. Yeah, you got money, but you ain't got no, you ain't got no integrity. You ain't got no, um, you're just a bunch of liars. Ooh, look what's coming. Ace of Wands. Ace of, Ace of Swords and Six of Pentacles. Somebody's going to have to pay up. They're crystal clear now of who you are and what you're here to do. So somebody may have even investigated you. They may have blocked your email. They may have done several things online. But I do feel like there's an investigation happening. And you're taking a leap of faith anyway. What does it say to Pentacles here? I feel like you're getting to work. You're 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 doing what's necessary for you to boss up in your life despite the pushback here because I do feel like there's some serious pushback. It wants to stop you from working. Yeah, they want to take your independence. This person's a gold digger. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They don't know how to do anything on their own. So they figure by taking your work and, and, and by um, trying to siphon your energy, that that's fair. But it's not. It's not fair. So what's going to happen here? Is that you're... I, I, I just feel like you're going to keep going no matter what. Because you. I feel like you are the, the magician here. Whether anybody likes it or not. And not the one that's behind the curtain that's fake. Because that's, that's kind of what's going on here. It's a manipulation and it's being done online. And you're still working. You might have, you know, get some kind of support that will help you in your work. And that is what's fair here. Libra energy. Let's see what's going on here. Echo chamber. Time for me to fly. Time to go. Old habits. No more repetition. Protection. Ancestral line. Running scared after trying to manipulate. That's why they. That's why they. They did this. Um, this thing, of trying to make you jealous, possibly of their money. I mean, if, if you're that shallow, then maybe they succeeded. But I don't feel like you're a shallow person. Blaming others, sick with shame, jaded in victimhood. Yeah, with the five of wands, it's definitely somebody. Trying to take your identity. We have Body Snatcher Doppelganger. Alliance Constant Attack. Trying to stop it. Risky Taking on Divine Order. Not smart. Written in the Stars. Faded. Trying to block fate. You can't. It is what it is. Structure. Discipline. Right action. And paying attention to the details. So like I said, I feel like you are 10 steps ahead of these people. You already know what they're doing. That's why you're in the, you know, the tower in reverse and the 10 of wands in reverse. You already let this go. You you're not carrying it around anymore. You you're growing something here, the 8 of pentacles. And these gold diggers are in the background trying to take it from you. That's just all all I can see here. But something's about to change. Somebody is definitely obsessed with you. There, and and then they, we have this new relationship coming in. If it's a new relationship or if it's a new partnership, we have someone that sees your strength. They see your worth, and they're officially ah. 
Ah, so there might be an inheritance involved in here with the Ten of Pentacles. Something that has to do with... A family member. Family secrets, mature man. Somebody's trying to stop you from getting something that belongs to you, but they can't. Official person. 2221 two, could be significant. There's definitely some kind of change taking place here with a mature man in your family. Could be your father. I know it's not mine. Or it could be this relationship that's coming in. Maybe your family knew about it and kept it a secret. But this person can't stop thinking about you. You're not sure. I mean, I see I see the look on this courtship, this lady's face, and she's just, she just not sure. She wants to even engage with these things or these people. Yeah, somebody's definitely looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making, and then trying to make new memories. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. I am seeing some kind of boat here. Empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used. Insane chemistry. So be very aware that that there is somebody here who is trying to, to get in the way of some kind of union or some kind of relationship that's coming in for you. And they could be using uh, other people in your family to try to do this. But there's an official person here that's going to help change this. Yeah. There it is again, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used. And somebody's looking at your pictures. It's, it's like... It's like they can't stop stalking your pictures. I, I mean, it's kind of weird to say that. But it makes perfect sense to me because just the other day I had somebody send me an old, old picture, you know, back in the day when we were sending half-naked pictures to each other. Um, yeah, and, and and it was like, kind of like, and, and, and they, I think they have a boat. So it makes perfect sense to me. Mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds. And the Grim Reaper, baby. This relationship is over. No second chances. Whoever you are that is stalking my collective, you need to grow and transform your life. That is what the death card's about. It's time to stop all this nonsense with these lies. Because it, it, they're not going to get you anywhere anyway. So what is, this, seriously, what is the point? It's not going to get you anywhere with my collective. All you are doing is, I feel like it's a jiggle lock. <laughs> That's what Kevin, Intuitive Kev calls them. Um, it's somebody who thinks they're all that and then something. And they think that they're a warlock too, that they can manifest you back into their life. But this person is, is they can be quite charming, but they're a user. They see you as a opportunity. But there is definitely something else here that is, you know, it, it, it's a little different. So we got two dragons for you. Both of them, I think, are guardians. We have Mordwin and Aslepius. Asclepius? <laughs> oh no. I'll read them both. We'll see what they say. Yeah, they're both guardian dragons. Wow. 
You got some serious protection here. I don't think I've ever read these two. Alright, so. This one says, Only you are the master of your destiny. Can't none of these people take it away from you as long as you're willing to do the work. Alright, it says, Mordwin is an awesome character, hugely powerful and all-encompassing. He will open doors, put people in situations in your path, which all lead to living your divine purpose. It is his responsibility to guide you to fulfill the contract you made in spirit before coming to earth for this incarnation. He says, you are the power, accept it as your own. That's what that Eight of Pentacles is about. Only you are the master of your destiny. His message is clear, so ignore him at your own peril. You have a job to do, so let's get on with it. You have the tools and the knowledge you need. Your self-doubt hinders you. Your time is now. The world needs to see your light. Step into your heart, and I will take the journey with you. He continues, your role is to take your light out into the world with me as your guide. Together, we are master creators. As you discover your life purpose, acknowledge your fears and self-doubt, but do not be bound by them, for, the cloud of, for they cloud your truth. Follow your heart, feeling your way with truth and integrity. Never leave your integrity behind. Always count on that to get you through, even if it seems like it could be, you know, detrimental to your path. It will always get you where you need your, I mean, it, it can be treacherous out here. I'm not going to lie, because you've got a lot of users and you got a lot of people out here who are obsessed with, your, with trying to take your destiny. But this guardian dragon says they can't, as long as you're willing to do the work. This one says... It is your journey and yours alone. It's unfortunate sometimes that we have to do this by ourselves, but you know, it is what it is. And if you're ready to take it on, boss up. That's the emperor. Asclepius was the ancient Greek god of medicine, the son of Apollo. Upon meeting him for the first time, his opening words were, your modern image of the Caduceus is incorrect. This is the Caduceus. Alright. This one's definitely calling somebody out. He was a healer of great repute in Greek mythology. And this dragon in particular reminds us that inside us too reside great healers. His particular affinity lies with the practitioners who use healing plants, herbalism, homeopathy, and essential oil and flower essences. Add to this his rather shamanic energy and his affinity with snakes. And he is a powerful ally. Asclepius is a dragon of, of the healer and, and the shaman. Sorry, His wisdom is boundless. If he has flown into your reading today, know that you have his abundant knowledge at your side, continuing with his practical help for your physical life. He asks if you need the support of a professional, if you need the support of a professional with knowledge of healing plants, or it's time for you to undertake training in one of the areas mentioned above, or indeed shamanism along with his ability to support those work, working with plant energies. He is a powerful ally when we are ready for the next phase of our transform, transformational journey of life. His presence in your cards today reminds you that together you create the immense combina combination of transmutation and transformation, the death card. Whether anybody likes it or not, Deep within you, you know you can, can and will succeed. He has this to say. You are on the cusp of transfer, transformation. So allow me to guide you forward doing the, wind, 
doing along the winding road. Remember, hold on to what you know to be true, for it is your journey and yours alone. Life never stands still. It is forever changing and evolving. Together we can transmute that which binds you, accepting that your journey on earth is about life, death, and rebirth as you transform and grow personally and spiritually. So, maybe it's time to take on some new learning because this is, unfortunately for these jealous, you know, haters and these people that, that want to lie, cheat, and steal from you, it's not their journey. It's your journey. And regard, I do feel like you do have somebody by your side here, even if you can't see them. They are in the background, and they are trying to help you um, officially. So don't repeat patterns, viewer. Then don't self-sabotage because you've got some powerful energies behind you. As long as you're willing to let things go that don't serve you, transform this jealousy and this hatred, because this is pure, pure hatred. And somebody's not confused about it. They are, they purely hate you. For what reason? Just because you're a healer, because you exist. And they will lie, cheat, and steal. But as long as you don't, and you continue down this, this road with these healing energies behind you, you can't lose. You've got some powerful allies even if you can't see them. All right? Well, those are your messages, my babies. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. That helps me so very much. And I will see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye for now.